Hey breadheads, welcome to episode 33 and today we've got some farming to do. In the world where you're a goner, if you leave without your armor and you come across a spawner, yeah that's breadsticks world. It's a world full of creepers in the men and jukebox seekers, shulker boxes full of everything you need to survive breadsticks world. Now you might have seen that tractor over my shoulder and thought I meant farming, farming. That, that's not what I meant. But I did want to show this off, I thought it was super cool. Uh, I built this off camera, I was just goofing around and it just is it's so neat it's based off a of corrales design uh i'll link that video in the description so if you want to build this little deal uh you can and i just thought it was super cool uh i'm from the i'm from the states i'm from the midwest and we have tons of tractors and this just really kind of made me laugh when i saw it and uh yeah <laughs> we're just doing some farming I, I put it out here by the farm barn i thought that was a great place for it and you can see I've got a custom license plate back here, Ninja. And on the front, yeah, you guessed it, Breadstick, Breadstick Ninja. So I just thought that was really cool. I thought that was really neat. The anvil's supposed to be like the engine, and we got the smokestack. I don't know, that made me laugh. But that's not the kind of farming we're doing today. Today we are going to do some slime farming. Yeah, that's right, it's slime time. I have need some slime, we've got honey. We're going to jump over there to the industrial district. We're going to check out what we're looking like on honey. We're going to get that slime farm in so we can get a, a stem farm up so we can finish those nether hub walls. That's what we're doing today. So let's jump over there. So we are over here at the honey farm. And you can see I've been doing a little bit of honey farming. I've been doing a little bit. I'm going to AFK here a little more. I've been really, really bad about that. I just haven't done hardly any at all. And shame on me. But I did want to show you this. Uh, our wool farm is really produced. And so you can see we've got a, uh, about two stacks in each of the barrels. But I had, to, I had to put in like a little mini storage room. We were like starting to get really full. Especially on colors we hadn't got into. Like green, we hadn't really gotten into any green or gray or white. It was starting to stack up. So I put a little mini storage room off to the side. So just so we wouldn't back the system up. But let's get over here to our slime chunk now this was the closest slime chunk we had to the industrial district so i think this is where we're going to put the farm it, I, it just made sense to me i guess it just makes the most sense and this is our slime chunk i put bricks around it this inside area is our chunk and now you're going to spend the next 30 mi minutes watching me dig it out no nah, no nah, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm gonna dig it out real quick and i'm gonna bounce right back it's gonna be a couple hours for me and like 30 seconds for you. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. And there it is. The, ch the chunks aren't even loading in yet. Let's, let's jump down here. There we go. How bad would that be if we, if we caught our second death on the realm just from jumping in this hole? Look at that. Bam. I told you. I told you. There's no time at all for you. Wasn't that great? But here we are. One whole chunk dug out down to bedrock. Uh, level 5. This is where we're at. And this is where we're going to get the slime farm going. It, did, it, it does work. I did check it on the way down. So let's get back up there and let's get our supplies sorted out. Let's sleep the night away. And we're going to start putting a system in. We're going to start getting this figured out. So Breadhead's on back and I ran into a little bit of a problem. I was, so I'm standing in front of our giant hole. It's, it, it's all dug out and all of, the, all of the junk is put away in our storage. And I thought I was good to go to start recording the clip and realized I forgot magma blocks. So I ran back over to the base to get magma blocks and I could only find 22. Oh, I had to get snow too. I could only find 22 magma blocks and I know we've got stacks and stacks of those dudes somewhere and I've totally lost them. <sighs> storage is an issue. We are going to have to tackle storage sooner rather than later. We might even try and tackle that in the next episode, at least get started on it. It's getting ridiculous. It's terrible. I've got stuff everywhere, and I am just keep forgetting where I have put it. It's terrible. I hate it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I think to get going here, to get our storage system in, you know what? Let's just take the whole, we're just going to take the whole red box and the whole redstone box, and then we're also going to take some, some iron, and we're going to need a crafting table for sure. And you know what? Let's just all of the above. Let's just all of the above, and we're gonna take it down the hole.
Let's go ahead and set up in this corner. We're gonna have to move this stuff before too long. I think I'm gonna put my shulker boxes up here actually. Maybe that will help keep things straight and we won't have to move it as often as I think we're gonna to have to. And for right now, let's just put this stuff right there. We'll just put it right there. And you know what? Why, why not? We'll just put the crafting table up there too. Make sense? Okay. So I think we're going to put collection on this side right here. And our collection is going to be... I think we're just going to have a simple, a very simple... Minecart system. So I think we're just going to put some rails in here like this to run under our magma blocks and collect our slime. And maybe we'll just drop them in hoppers because this is just a one chunk slime farm. It's based off of an old Silent Whisper design that he did a long time ago. I'm not even sure what happened to the video. And I use it all the time. It works great. I've used it in a bunch of my worlds and I think I'm going to do something kind of similar to that. Except we're not going to use iron golems. We're going to use snow golems because apparently that works the same. You just have to block them from throwing snowballs. From throwing snowballs at the slimes. So let's, I think, bring this up a level or two. Yeah, because we're going to want to be able to drop this stuff down. So let's come up one, let's come up one level. That should be four stacks of bricks, I think. All right, I have got the floor in and we are back. This is what I got cooking. So I turned on my light texture pack so I would know where to put the pumpkin. So this floor is totally lit up. Nothing can spawn on it except slimes. And just ignore that. <laughs> That's going to be our AFK platform, but it's got to get moved more towards the center. That was just so I knew the level. And these are going to be where we put in our other platforms. Okay, so 24 to 44 is the magic spawning number. That's what we're going to use. To get these slimes to spawn in. And this is what I did for collection. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of janky, but, uh, but it works. So, obviously, I've got hoppers in here. I didn't cover those up. That way you could see them. Uh, and I kept my redstone over here, away from the hoppers, so it wouldn't lock them. And now, if we drop stuff in here, whatever hopper we throw it into, doesn't matter. Uh, they should all go into the same spot. And if we come on the other side of the wall, there's the spot. So 13 snowballs, so that's working. So that's great. So let's put our tracks back down here. We did not want to do that, but we did. Okay, so all we got to do now is put our minecart on that track and this is off right now but it's not gonna be let me show you what i mean oh magma blocks dudes i found like another three or four stacks in our shulker boxes up top it was so annoying i was so annoyed when i saw it so we're just gonna take a lever and we're gonna throw it up here like this and then it's gonna power those tracks and i mean that's pretty much all she wrote on that and the rest of these tracks are powered already by blocks in the ground so no big deal so we got our hoppers running into our chest we've got our tracks powered we got our mammal blocks in to kill the slimes and I, I think we're good I think that's pretty much our killing our killing platform completed now we do have to attract the slimes right so that's what we're gonna do now so we're going to come right here to the middle of five. Yes, I think that's what we want to do right there. And we need snow. So let's get some snow. And can we use jack-o'-lanterns for carved pumpkins? <laughs> I hope so. I didn't, I didn't bring any regular carved pumpkins. Oh, it's going to be so annoying if that's uh, not the case. If that's not the case. And I think I'm going to take get extra of those down here. All right, so let's go here, here, here. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that so he can't get out. So he's trapped. 
and then we want to get a we want to get a chest minecart in front of him. Now, I've been seeing people do this, and I guess what this does is it keeps him from being able to it keeps him from being able to throw snowballs at the slimes. But the slimes can still see him and they will still try and attack him. So that's pretty much it for this bottom this bottom layer. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Should I put glass here? We put a little drop shoot in and then we can like look in here, see what's going on. I think... <laughs> sorry, getting sidetracked. I think what I'm going to do is let's... Let's block that up. We got our we got our tracks in. We got our bottom our bottom spawning platform in. We got our killing platform in. And we got our first snow golem in. So let's um I mean let's see if this dude works. Let's see if this dude works. I'm gonna go up to the AFK platform up here. And I'm gonna go AFK for I don't know, 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. And we'll see if we get any slimes. I mean, I'm not seeing any yet. I wish I would have made this out of glass you know what i'm saying uh oh we got a slime we got a slime now is he gonna track the snow golem that's the question because right now it looks like no okay okay yep okay we got more in there yes they are both they're both tracking the snow golem the little one's not the big one is uh it looks like it's working great after just a few minutes but i forgot to put the hopper minecart in Ah, dang it. Okay, our minecart is in and moving. Let's try the AFK test again. Okay, breadheads, 10 minutes are up. At least it's close enough to 10 minutes. Maybe it was six or seven or eight or nine. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna go down and see what we got in the farm. Now, you just saw that guy kind of disappear. We must be at the very edge, the very edge of our spawning chunk distance. And we're going to move that platform more to the center. And I think it will take care of that where they despawn in the corners. And I also noticed, I don't know if you guys caught it. Sometimes we get guys hanging out in the corner. It didn't seem to last for very long. And then they, they, they seem to find the golem and they track him and get over here. But I did notice a couple of times right here in this corner. And my guess is probably in this corner where we couldn't see underneath the platform. There was probably some guys hanging out. But the question is. All right, so almost two stacks of slime balls. We got those four there. So actually 64 and 55 in about 10 minutes. So that's not bad. I mean, you could probably expect five to six stacks an hour with just this platform. But we can definitely do better than that. I, I think so anyway. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me jump out of here. I'm going to put these platforms in. These are all the platforms we're going to be able to do with, with our loading distance, right? When we stand all up there, they should, they should be able to spawn on this top platform, but they shouldn't despawn on this bottom platform. So I'm going to get all these platforms in. They're going to be exactly like this. I'm going to put golems in. I'm going to move our AFK spot over to the center. I'm going to make it out of glass instead of stone. And I'm going to bring you dudes back in. We're going to check out the farm. And then we're going to AFK for some rates. Okay? That's the game plan. And we'll see. What, then we'll see what time we got left in the episode. Maybe we'll get into something else. I've got a new build on my mind for our storage. I think you're going to like it. Okay. I'll be back. The slime farm is ready, baby. It's ready. It's ready to get some slime. And I'm pumped about that. Uh, I'm super excited. It looks, let's look down. So I got our AFK spot. This is center chunk here and it seems like it's just cranking. I just finished. We just converted the AFK spot over to glass. We've got slimes leaping down to the, their dooms. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. We did, we kind of did our conglomeration, silent whisper, one chunk, weird thing and it's it's looking good it looks good so let's drop down into the little storage area that is okay we got to see gotta get located it's up there so we want to go let's do this 
Oh, look at all those slimes. Look at all those slimes. Okay, and I believe we are, let's see. One, two, three, and we want to come back one. So I think we want to go down right here. I guess we could come back two. Let's come back two. And I think this is going to drop us in right where all of our slime balls are, are collecting. Level six. We're looking for level six. Yes, okay, all right, well, we were close, uh, almost, almost, so that's good, that's exciting, oh, yeah, look at that, we got some stuff from, this is, like, just from building the farm, I mean, I feel like it's just going crazy, I love it, I absolutely love it, okay, we need to figure out a quick way to get down here, we are definitely going to have to do something else, for storage, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure something out. Maybe we'll do like a whole storage room down here. But for right now, I want to be able to get up to our AFK spot and AFK and then be able to get back down here. So let's do something with that. I think probably the easiest way would just be to... Yeah, we'll probably just be to put in a, a ladder, I guess, would be the easiest way to do it. We could just get back up right now. All right, I'm gonna make some ladders and I'm gonna get us out of here. I will be right back. Now I got your number. Yes, we are out, we are out, we are out. Do we have any stone bricks left? Yes, and we can make some more. Let's do this here, like this. Yeah. And we'll turn this little dilio into part of the farm. Yes. Okay. So there is our way down to our temporary storage. Let's... Oh, we have so much junk. Oh, we've got so much junk. Uh, you know what, breadheads? Just pretend... Pretend you're not even seeing this, okay? We're just not even gonna... This little stuff here... No, you, you didn't see that. That didn't happen. Didn't happen. Okay, redheads, we have emptied out our pockets. Let's go down. Let's clear out our storage. Let's do a little bit of AFK. I think, I think this farm is going to be cranking. Oh, our pumpkins are all, look at our, our pumpkins are off center. Oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't see that. That didn't happen. Our pumpkins are definitely not off center. Go to the floor. I mean, close enough. Okay, let's take all this slime out. 37 slime blocks and five. Woo! Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this down in the corner. Actually, you know what? We'll just go put it in our... We'll put it in our redstone box. Up the ladder we go. We're definitely going to have to get, like, a little storage system down here and a faster way to get up and down. But this will work for now. I want to test this, dude. I want to be able to get some slime going. I'm going to AFK for one hour, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to check out the slime rates on this farm. You ready, breadheads? Because it's slime time. Okay, breadheads, it has been one hour. One hour on the money. Let's get up here, and let's see how many slime balls we have gotten. Okay, I'm guessing 12 stacks. 12 stacks in here. Oh, man, look at that. In one hour, I mean, we got pretty much almost a full single chest of slime balls. That is awesome. Oh, man, look at all these slime blocks. This is just what we got from making the farm today, like putting it together, and AFK. Well, we had a few. We had a few in our resident box. But, man, that's great. That is awesome. So, we should have some real... Some real honey and slime going. We're ready to build our stem farm. Oh, yeah. We've got some slime cooking. Look at that. Almost two and a half stacks of honey. We have got four and a half stacks of slime. I think we're ready to put that stem farm together. All right? 
Let me get my junk put away. Let me do a little bit of editing, see where we're at on the episode. And if we have time, we might give that a shot today. I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped to go to farm stems for our nether tunnels. Okay, breadheads, we are back. And you might notice I look a little different. Uh, the episode we just finished, Slime Time, episode 33, I actually recorded two and a half weeks ago. And it should have been out like um, two weeks ago, week and a half ago. Yeah, I had some serious technical difficulties. Ignore the llama in the background. Just ignore him. Uh, but I'm not going to go into that. We don't have time for that. The, the episode should about a week and a half ago. I want to get it out to you tonight. That's what I'm trying to do. So I promise I'll fill you in next time on what happened, where I've been, what's going on, and what I've been doing in the meantime. But for now, we've got to wrap it up. We've got to call it done because I want to get this out. I've missed you guys. So this is Breadstick, and I'll see you next time. Later, dudes.